You met Lori Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was, I, uh, it's 1952, I believe, and I was in California as Irene Sheriff's assistant. Uh, she, I had been there working with her on, I think, Break of Doom, yes. And uh, it was finished. She went back to New York, and I was staying in Los Angeles. The movie Oklahoma was revving up at MGM, and a woman named Elizabeth Montgomery was the designer. She was part of an English, very distinguished English group of designers called Motley. And she came to California. I, she was not a movie designer. She was a, a, a theatrical designer. And I think it was sort of new to her. But at any rate, she took a big house, brought all her kids there, her husband's kids. And her husband took off. And then she took off <laughs> to find him. And she did not return. And uh, so Oklahoma had no designer. Agnes DeMille was the choreographer. And uh, Elizabeth had been her very closest friend. It was a big mystery. She simply, I never did find out where she went. Nobody did. But at any rate, Mrs. Hammerstein, Dorothy, had a very close friend named Ori Kelly, who was, had been in rehab for a very long time. <laughs> And um, he had been the designer at Warner Brothers. And in his long career at Warner Brothers, where he was adored and won many Academy Awards and dressed the likes of uh, Betty Davis and Miriam Hopkins and Rosalind Russell, these were all his very dear friends, as well as the wives of all the studio execs. He, he gets. Uh, Mrs. Goldwyn, all of them. They were all his very dear friends, and they put him in rehab. <laughs> and when he got out, they got him an apartment on Larrabee, and got him a houseman and a driver, and um, a lot of rules about how he was to live his life. But Mrs. Hammerstein said, get him out and let Miss Roth, who is not working with Sheriff at the moment, let her be his assistant, and he will do Oklahoma. And that was the kind of thing he had never done, a big musical. He had done beautiful clothes for leading ladies who were under contract. And so um, I was very young. I, somehow, the two of us became extremely good friends. I guess that's how I met Ori Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> was it a surprise to you when Jillian approached you to make a film about Ori Kelly? Since he yeah, yes, because uh, his life, which I don't, what he used to tell me was how he and Dorothy Hammerstein and Cary Grant met. Well, he met Dorothy Hammerstein in Australia. And I believe Ori was working in the burlesque at the time. And I believe, as a, and I think somehow or other, Mrs. Hammerstein was around. She may have been in the course line. I, I can't remember this book. But Ori always made himself a costume. And he always was on the end of the line. And he would, whenever he felt like, Anyway, they were great pals. <laughs> I think that's great. He's not the only designer I know who did that. Billy Livingston did that as well. At any rate, uh, Ori and she came to New York and met Cary Grant, whom somehow they had met him before, I think in London or, I'm not sure, Liverpool, I don't remember. But at any rate, they went to work for a woman whose name is mentioned in this documentary. And I, uh, she had a nightclub in the city in the 50s. And it was, um, and the bottom floor was very social. 
and the second floor was showbiz and a lot of fun. One of it was a, I guess half speakeasy, half club, and Ori and Mrs. Hammerstein and Cary Grant all were living together, and they were hired to paint the place because Ori was a designer then and was trying to get work with Errol, the Errol Carroll Follies. And at any rate. He painted the downstairs with everybody's face in who were socially prominent uh, in green. The whole walls were green and there were frogs and snakes and uh, all that. And the upstairs was all red and that was the glamour. Show business were all apes and monkeys and whatever. It actually became famous. There is some documentary. I don't, I don't mean documentary in the sense of documentary. But there's some <laughs> documents about this. Decorated club. Then whatever else happened, they then all got in a car and followed this woman to out west where she opened a club. I somehow think it was Las Vegas, but it could have been Reno. And there were a lot of, I mean, if you're going to do a documentary about Ori, this is the exciting part, but no one knows it. <laughs> At any rate, so, I and mean, we didn't. And so, and then he got to California, and uh, he became this star socially, and uh, uh, he developed into a great designer. He used to lecture me on the bias. And, oh my God, <laughs> he was he was a great guy. Anyway, what else? <laughs> did did you learn things from Maureen? Yeah. Well. Yes. Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I, I, I mean, yes, I did. I was a real 21-year-old snob. I mean, I really thought I was hot stuff, and I would tell Ori that isn't the way we do it anymore, because he came from a much earlier day. And um, I don't know if you know who Oliver Smith was, but. Oliver Smith was doing the scenery for Oklahoma, and he was very, very East Coast urbane guy. And uh, there were a lot of jokes about Ori and me together. Because I, anyway, I loved him very much. <laughs> loved him. He was just he had the greatest sense of humor to this day. I don't know anybody as funny or most as much fun as he was. So uh, my last question. To this film really, I think, pays homage to the whole craft of cop costume designing mm -hmm. in a way that I think is often overlooked. Did, did you feel that watching it? Yes. In that day, I can't tell whether you know all this, I'm just spouting off here, but there, there were six or seven studios, and each studio had two designers. One did the clothes of the of the female contract players, and one did the history plays or the period pieces. And so, like, um, it was at MGM, there was Helen Rose and Walter Plunkett. Walter would do uh, Gone with the Wind, and Helen would do June Allison and uh, uh, the swimmer, uh, Esther Williams. And they would. And the men were always done by wardrobe people, and they, that was a whole other thing. But the shops, after Hitler marched into Austria, the music and costume departments of all the studios became the most superb in this country. The musicians. were the finest from any orchestras in the, in the world. And um, the dressmaking and the tailoring, not the tailoring, the dressmaking, was just divine. The, the best people came out of that. And that tradition is gone, I think. I think so. But uh, Ori was very much part of that, and the Warner Brothers costume department, wardrobe. Uh, there were two drapers there that, uh, the, the best, the very, very best. And you worked on, that is where you learn. 
I, this is a lecture that's getting yeah. into costuming. I don't think you want to know. This. What else? Do you have anything else? Uh, you know, I, I would listen to you all night, and uh, and I. I hope I I said to Anne earlier. You really someone you should let someone make a documentary about you. But I would hate that. <laughs> well, uh, with that, I'm very pleased to uh, thank you, Anne, so much for being here tonight. Thank you for being here for this beautiful film. Uh, did, did you have a message from Jill? Yes. I also had a message for Jill from Jill that I forgot to say. <laughs> Here, while you look up yours, I'll look up mine. It's probably the same one. Mine says, I so wish I could be there tonight, but couldn't be more honored than Ms. Ann Roth who is both an extraordinary, brilliant costume designer and who knew and worked with Ori Kelly and is so great in the film, can be here instead. I do hope you enjoy our little story of his big life. Thanks, Jill. Now, oh, yours says something different. Uh, <laughs> 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 that is funny. This thing. <laughs> 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 Here it is. If I were there, I would say so perhaps you could say for me that it was over three years researching and piecing together Ori's life and work, and I'm indebted to everyone who participated. It was a big life. Hope you enjoy it. It's true. It's a really good piece. Very, very good. I loved it. Okay. Thank you very much for coming. Thanks especially to Andrew.